Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Friday. Welcome to Tejano Virtual Events. Today's session will be self-care presented by Claudia Galindo and Cristina Diaz from the EPCC Mental Health Committee. This session will be recorded so that you may come back to it later if you need, and so others who may have missed out on today's events will be able to come and watch it. Thank you. So now, at this time, please mute your mics for the best sound experience. Otherwise, the feedback could interfere with information we will be sharing today. Without further ado, I'll pass it on to our presenter so that we may begin. Hi, thank you everyone. Hopefully everyone already had lunch, which is an important thing for self-care, right? Which is our main topic today, food, we need to eat. So I'm very happy to be here. This is the first time I'm gonna do it, uh, a presentation here. So I'm very excited about it, especially because I really love this topic, which is uh, self-care. So what is self-care? What is for you self-care? I see some people is uh, coming into the presentation and you have access to the chat. I would like to hear from you. In one word, tell me what is self-care for you. If you can type it in the chat, I'm I, I gonna continue. It is something that sometimes, though it's something that we really hear often. It is something that really, we don't really hear that often. Just the word self, right? how often do we actually just think about ourselves and we don't think about the kids about family about our job about the issues that we might have so how many you know how many of us we actually just take a time and think about self just that word about yourself um it is something that we frequently like talk and i'm seeing a lot of things on the chat which thank you i appreciate i'm seeing meditation relaxation take time for ourselves activity to give to yourself take time off meditation self-awareness keeping yourself healthy um activities that give yourself time off which is very amazing uh time off it's a good point uh, and yeah it is time off right uh, so I'm going to discuss a little bit, but thank you for participation. All those are correctly like right answers. So everyone get a little start on the head. So very good job. Thank you for participating. So according with the dictionary, we can see that uh, self-care is the practice of uh, taking an active role in protecting one's own well-being and happiness, in particular during the periods of stress, right? I'm sure we all know what is a stress. Uh, the practice of taking action to preserve or improve one's own health. So a lot of the things that you write, like time for yourself, take action, right? So how many, we know with all those description, but how many actually of us, we actually did what we just wrote? How many of us, we actually do relaxation? We actually take time? How often do we take time? How often do we are aware of what is going on in ourselves, right? So do, do I have to do it? Do we have time to do it? What if I don't have time, but it's too hard? What if I do not do it? Have you ever heard any of those, even when you maybe say that to students, to your friends, to your family members, to your coworkers, to your colleagues, to your family members, to your partner, to your significant other? How soon will you say like, oh, it's because I really don't have time. Oh, do I really have to do it? Uh, no, like we, guess we right? like it's some comments that we hear like very constant very constant we can see i don't have time for that how you have oh how come do you have time to go to the gym how come do you have time to do this well in reality we all do have time but sometimes we don't make the time right we don't make the time to do that but often we are probably we all of us are gonna say i'm guilty of using one of those sentences oh it's because i don't have time i don't have time to to do exercise i don't have time to take time for for myself um so really like why is the reason because sometimes we're so worried about other stuff or maybe other people because sometimes we do right we all do say like hey you need to take care of yourself and if we look how often do actually we take care of our own selves we're very really good to like identify when somebody needs to uh do a little bit of self-care but how good are we on doing it on ourselves right yeah i'm seeing like guilty <laughs> guilty uh, messages that Carmen says yes all the time so yeah like all the time we're finding all this excuse and we really don't don't um, 
don't currently are used to also take care of yourselves because sometimes we're worried about taking care of other people or other staff. As a student, the same thing, right? We worry because uh, students are not only students. They're parents, they're sisters, they're siblings, they're workers, they're everything. The same as uh, people uh, people who work, they're not only that worker. They're only not only working on the profession. They're doing like another 10 roles. So it is very important. Um, let me go to the next slide. Okay, so who? Do I really have to do it? But why me? Why me? Like, I, I don't think I'm, um, I need it, right? Who? Do I have to do it? Do you have to do it? We all have to do it, right? In reality, we all have to do it. Oh, probably only people that is super busy. No, we all, professor, parents, employees, sister, worker, brother, student, uh, even, you know, counselors, therapists, uh, uh, people that work in every single area, we all have to do. Mothers, parents, uh, everyone, we all need to, to, uh, to practice self-care. That is very, very, very important to do self-care. So we all need it, right? Everyone agree on that, for sure, I hope. But here's the question, why? Why is the reason that we have to do it? Tell me on the chat, why? What is this important? We are here spending 15 minutes talking about self-care. If self-care is really that important in our lives, is very, very important. So why? What is this important? Okay, you tell me, I already told you who has to do it, which is, everyone I tell you the definition but why why do I have to do it I hear to balance yourself to feel less stress how do you take care of others if you're falling apart right like and it's like when we go into an airplane right we all have I hope uh, if you had the experience to go to an airplane sometimes I'm not very fan of that but um, so what happened what do they tell you when they give you the security in instruction if something happened and that mask Fall off the fall off. Who do need? Who is the person that need to put it first? The, you need to put it to the person that is next to you, or you have to put it yourself. So what I said, you have to put it yourself, right? Exactly. You have to do it yourself so you can help other people. It's exactly the same thing with self care. Why? Exactly to be able to help other. And so it's exactly with the same thing with self care. Okay, how are we gonna support others? How are we gonna help others? How are we gonna be a good role model for others? How are we gonna do, uh, try to help others? How are we gonna care about others if we're not caring about ourselves or taking care of ourselves? So it's the same thing of an airplane. You need to put the mask first on yourself and then on the others. It's the same thing with self -care. You need to take care of yourself and do it for yourself and then we have to do it for, for others, right? Especially, I know it, uh, COVID is still around, and I know the past years was very difficult, right? And was very like stressful, even for students, for people that work in schools, for every single person that was working. It was a very difficult uh, situation that we will we need to adjust at that time to what? To kind of like work from home, deal with our siblings 24-7, uh, adjustments for school. So we have like different, yeah, quarantine, right? Dealing with each other or our family. And I know we all love our families, but sometimes it's hard 24-7, right? Like I love my boyfriend, but 24-7 was like, oh my God, 24-7. <laughs> like so like a, a very long time. Uh, or or my sister and my brother so yeah right like it's it's difficult it's difficult and it was challenging and at that time also because that it is important it is important to do self care I know still we can hear about some uh, cases we get sick and stuff we need to be at home in quarantine like many mentioned and do I have to do self care just be there yeah it's some ways that we can do certain uh, ways of self care even being at home right and working at home. So we need to adjust, so, but sometimes what do we do? We find excuses like, oh no, I don't really need it. It's fine. But why? You guys mentioned a good, a very good, uh, a very good point. We need to take care of ourselves in order so we can help other people, right? So what is self-care challenges? What is something that I say like, oh yeah, I wish I can do it, but what is some challenges and I should get back? What is some challenges? Tell me on the chat, what is it that makes challenging having um, to practice and take action 
about doing self-care because sometimes you know we say like oh yeah i'm gonna start taking walks and then no no so what happened how many walks do you think no it's because i wasn't able to do it because this because that and we find like a hundred a hundred million excuses right let me see what i see on the chat motivation so that will be probably margaret like lack of motivation to to do stuff uh responsibilities yeah and i know sometimes you know oh i have to pick it up the kids from school i got up uh, late from work um what else oh i need to go and buy groceries i need to go and pay the bills i need to go and do this and by the end sometimes what happened like oh i'm too tired right like i'm very too too tired to do this uh other priorities take priority yeah right excuse that we don't have time and lack of motivation yeah right like um excuses so what is uh and thank you for participating that was a very very good feedback so also what is it that we say like oh it is more important to help others than we be okay right sometimes we hear that like oh i'm helping my mom she's she's maybe sick or she's having a hard time and we're always have time to help others but we don't I, and we always say like i'm gonna be okay like i'm gonna be okay it's better that i help my sister or my mom or my dad i'm gonna be okay nothing is gonna happen to me like we are superheroes right like i love superheroes batman is my favorite so i love superheroes but guess what like we're not superheroes in that way of that nothing is gonna happen to us right like things happen and and i know it's important to help others and i know everyone is like very true uh good heart and we do things for heart but also it's very important that you take care of yourself another challenge i should be able to cope like i will figure out i'm okay right i'm okay i'm still have my hair and everything up so everything it's okay i'm still i'm not shaking I'm, I'm i'm sleeping well so i don't have anything yet i'm i can handle this right like again with the superhero attitude that we can do everything and nothing is gonna happen to us i don't uh i do not have time i'm too busy and I, that's one of the things that i held there right like oh i'm too i'm too busy i really don't have time but i know someone on the chat say i think it was carmen like it's sometimes we don't have an excuse that we don't have the time uh it does not have any benefits like why what are i gonna go and take to go to the gym what are i gonna go and take a walk why are i gonna read a book what are i gonna uh, do a breathing technique what are i gonna do what i like to do you know no one um no one that i know practice self-care why because we live in a like rush hour right we're like 100 miles per hour and we are like uh, very very fast paced all the time and i really understand that and sometimes the people around us sometimes they're like the same with us right sometimes they're also living their life in a very fast pace and you say like well everyone is doing the same i don't see nobody goes to the gym or nobody really do nothing so and they're okay so i think i'm gonna be okay right but guess what we're all all different we need to identify and understand our emotions and our levels where we are right we need to i'm sorry we need to understand first what do i need to identify what in i i need to identify if i'm doing some things to to what to take care of myself why because we don't want to wait until we have like maybe some um more advanced consequences right that our stress is like being a very higher level that we can still see like some uh, medical or mental consequences for don't doing taking a break for don't stop and taking a break even when we sometimes what happened when we take like a road trip we take breaks right oh let's take a break to go to a restroom let's take a break to to eat something it's the same thing we don't just get into the car i hope not right go into the car and drive like 12 hours all straight no we need to take like some breaks right some break is the same thing with our lives like i know we are driving like 100 miles per hour but we need to take breaks we need to take breaks for our own benefit we need to really like take breaks from that uh why because self-care is something it's self-care is more than just taking some time from our busy lives self-care is worry about our own selves and if we don't worry about our own selves then who's gonna worry right 
So what will be some of the consequences? It's stress, right? A lot of stress. And what is something that can be stressful? A lot of things, right? And what may be, uh, be stressful for you, maybe it's not that stress for me, right? Uh, maybe for one person can be, oh my God, for me it's so stressed. Uh, I don't know, like right now, right? Like, I don't know, I'm having issues with my classes and stuff like that. Oh my God, I'm so stressed. For other person, like, oh my God, like, you know what? Um, I don't have a job. I need to pay my bills. And that's what creates a lot of stress. How do you want me to uh, think about taking time for myself if I need to find money to pay my bills, right? How do you want me to don't stress if I'm failing my class? I'm doing so bad. And that's the only class that I need for, for to graduate. Right. Oh my God, I'm so I'm so stressed because we're dealing with uh, maybe an illness on the family. Someone that we uh, we really love is very ill, and that creates a lot of stress and worry. Right. So that uh, it's one thing. Also, what else other can can happen? Anxiety, right? Um, we start like uh, we start shaking. We start like biting our nails pulling the hair, uh, scratching, even like uh, can appear like some, you know, like uh, like we have any very uh, bad like allergies. And it's no allergies. Something come out like a little ronchitas because what? Because the anxiety is so high that that creates the same as with the stress. So we create a lot of anxiety. A lot of the students that we were with, anxiety for the test. And we can say like, oh my God, you're stressing for that. Or you're having anxiety for that test. Come on. Like, that's nothing. I don't, and sometimes people tend to just judge, right? And that's something that really we need to stop doing. We don't have to judge because what, what, how I mentioned before, whatever is stressful for you might not be stressful for somebody else. But we need to respect other people's stressors. That's what we have to do. But maybe for one student, it's stressful at test. Maybe for other person, another student is stressful paying the bills and you say, you know, my, I don't have for the rent and you're stressing for a test. Well, yeah, that's what they're dealing with. And we need to respect, right? And support. The same thing with us, with our own selves. Maybe for us, like, um, uh, can be like many different, different factors right, right now, right? Like uh, financial difficulties, family issues, uh, personal issues. So that creates a lot of anxiety for students. Also, uh, test, right? Like test, I'm failing. I'm, uh, I'm having like a lot of anxiety on this. So, errors and judgment, yes, exactly. Uh, so we need to respect, right? Oh my God, it's because my parent, I'm getting divorced, I'm having issues with my kids, and then another person. You can even hear those kind of conversations sometimes like with our friends or family. Oh my God, I got divorced, no big deal. Well, yeah, maybe not for you, but for me, it's giving me like some stress, you know? Uh, anxiety. Next one would be frustration, right? It's a lot of frustration, especially sometimes maybe can be as a professional as a student, right? It's sometimes just um, um, just so much that we can do, right? And I know sometimes we wish we can do more, but sometimes we 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 can't. Why? Because many reasons, right? And, and that creates a lot of frustration. Frustration for students like, oh my God, uh, uh, I have to do this and this and that and I can find a job and I'm submitting a lot of applications and, and that creates a lot of frustration on everyone. Oh my God, frustration because my car broke down, I don't have car, uh, I don't have money to fix it. So we can be a lot of, uh, create a lot of frustration. And we're talking right now about the different consequences. So when we don't do like, soccer right we don't have to wait until all these things come out if we can prevent it right so prevention is always the best thing so we can avoid having all this at the maximum level uh what other low energy oh my god like we feel like we can sometimes we see other people like that little picture that you see here and it's like oh my god i'm like oh my god you have all their energy and look at me like I, i'm in red already like i can't do this anymore yeah, exactly. Um, offering different perspectives and triggers stress rather than judgment. Exactly, Christina. That's a very good one. Uh, offering different perspectives to trigger stress, right? What is going on? What is the reason that you're stressed? Uh, and try to help out. And that is why I told you it's very important that everyone, 
we do self-care so that way we can continue helping others, right? And so that way we can help them, oh, you know what? Uh, let's see what is, uh, what is triggering you that stress, right? Without judging, right? As I mentioned that, and Christina mentioned that, not being judged because we don't know what is behind that. Uh, nobody knows what is behind that. Uh, so nobody, my grandma used to say, Nadie sabe lo que trae en el costal cargando más que el que lo trae cargando, right? Nobody knows what the person has in that bag. In that bag, the only person that knows is the person that is carrying the bag. And that's true, right? And we only know what the, per, what the person wants to share. Um, so we see sometimes, right? How many of you picture yourself as the person on the red or the person on green charge? Tell me. Hopefully I see a lot of reds. A lot of greens, I'm sorry. So how many of you are in the office? Are the guy that is on green? Or are you the one that is on red? And don't tell me, I'm like a little orange. <laughs> or like a little yellow. Red, I'm seeing a lot of red. Red, uh, sometimes one, sometimes the other many, okay, light red, <laughs> okay, like an orange, Damien, good, red, Corina, yellow, Cristina, um, Cristina, come on, I say no yellow, uh, nadie sabe lo que está en el costal, yeah, thank you, Kathy, that's what I was trying to say, um, so, yeah, right, so, I'm, I'm very disappointed here, so I'm seeing a lot of red, okay, so hopefully this presentation help you a little bit, so you can come a little orange and then finally get into the green, but I know sometimes it's exhausted and we still like a lot of low energy, like very, very low energy, but why, and I'm going to the point that somebody mentioned, sleep, right, that's one important, it's Friday, not many people on red, <laughs> Well, many, I see a lot of people say, right, right, right now should be like, oh, I'm happy it's Friday and I'm going to do some self-care activities this weekend, maybe. Um, so sleep issues. Sometimes, you know, we have people, uh, issues of sleeping. We can go to bed early and stuff, but we're like this little guy over here. We're thinking a lot of stuff. Oh my God, what am I going to do this? Do I pay that? Do I pay that? Oh my God, I don't know. Uh, what am I going to do tomorrow to, uh, to, for breakfast for the kids? Oh, what am I going to do this? Carmen, ahí la tengo aquí, mira, work, work, work. Oh no. Uh, I'm thinking, it's already Friday clock out and here is thinking about, oh my God, on Monday I have to go and submit this report and do this and then I have this meeting. No, go to bed and go to bed right? Go to bed and go to bed. Try to sleep. Try to do something that relax you before go to bed. If you want to drink a little tea, like something that make you feel, take a little walk, right? Instead of being sitting down uh, thinking about all these things like, oh, I'm going to take like a little walk or something. Um, sometimes what is important is like, oh, I'm going to take like a little natural tea, right? Melatonin helps once in a while. Yes, right? Once in a while because remember, it's not very good to use it very often. So, but you can, I'm not going to read that comment. I'm just kidding. But I know it's Friday. So, okay. <laughs> but yeah, do something that helps you out and try to don't think, disconnect yourself. Don't look. How many of you have your work email and your cell phone? Big mistake, big mistake. I know probably some, right? You can sleep because you're like, oh, I'm going to see if they send like an email. I'm going to answer maybe this email. So that way on Monday, I'm not. So in reality, you're not even starting your weekend, right? So sleep is very important. That is why sometimes if we don't sleep good, what is going to happen? We're going to be this guy over here on the red light. Uh... What else is going to affect us? Our health. Why? Because our immune system gets down because we're sometimes not even eating well. Have you noticed sometimes that people are like, oh, they're so stressed and they're so worried and they don't practice nothing as a self-care? And what happened? They start getting sick. Why? Because they don't eat. Or people that overeat, right? Uh, so people... 
uh, have Christina have insomnia, very less, and close friends, the same sleep issues. We help each other. That's very good, right? We need to find support from other people, right? Uh, so, yeah, so uh, health issues. We start getting sick because our immune system goes down because we're very, like, stressed. We're very worried, and we're doing everything to continue worrying and being stressed. Then we don't, we forget to find um, coping mechanisms for that. So and we don't doing nothing, okay? What happened if we are sick and we don't do nothing to help and improve that? We get sicker, right? So right now it's very important with this. It is very important that we eat well, that we sleep well, because if not, it's gonna start affect. So how do I do that? Okay, Claudia, you already told me what is gonna happen and all this, and then what? Tell me how do I do that? How do I take care of myself? And I would like to hear on the chat, what is it that you do? I know probably you don't do it very often, but what you do, what is it that you do to do for yourself? And tell me how often do you do it? Tell me like, oh, I walk once a week or once every six months. Like, tell me the activity that you do as a self-care. What is it that you do and how often do you do? Okay, Patricia, I'm saying paint. I paint maybe like once a month. Hike. Oh, that's good. I like to hike, and that's why I don't do it that often. And not that often. Christina, Mr. Manny, Low, Jack. Um, Jack and a Coke once in a while helps. Okay, read. Not often, though. Go shopping during my lunch hour. And don't tell me then you stress that you don't have money. Okay, Miss Carmen? Just kidding. Okay, except today. Walk, start exercising again. Walk, okay. Walk. How often do you guys walk, right? Uh, so I'm seeing a lot of good techniques: reading, uh, hiking, and you see, you know the activities that you enjoy, and we know we know what we like and what we dislike. But here is the problem: we don't do it often, right? We don't do it very often. And remember. Really confident with my neighbor, always six or seven times. I mean, Miss Kylie, that's amazing. That's fantastic. That's very good. You know, that's a good time to kind of like forget. Yeah, that's a very good, good self care thing. So we forgive you for not reading that often, Miss Kylie. I'm just kidding. <laughs> okay, we all are different. <laughs> uh, every day in my lunch break, at least 15 minutes, Karina. Good, good thing on the walk. I, I do the same thing. I eat. I have an hour lunch, I leave the 30 minutes, and the other 30, I go to walk around. So we all are different, right? What does that mean? What might work for me might not work for you. Like, for example, um, walking. You know what? Like, no, I have, like, a, a knee, um, an issue on my knee. I cannot walk that much. So, okay, I understand that. So we need to find other things. Or oh, hiking, maybe. Oh, you know what? I'm not very fanatic of hiking and stuff like that. Yeah, but that's what Mr. Manny likes, right? And what works for him. But we all are different like this donuts, right? We're all different. We're all different. And what might work for you might not work for me. So ideas, I know you told me, right? You told me some ideas what you do. Uh, we hear hiking, coffee with the friends. Praise sorry, Carmen. We're not. Oh, that's very good, Carmen. Thank you. Yeah, that's very good. Right, having a spirituality. Also, it's it's self care, right? Um, thank you for sharing, Miss Carmen. So what is it? I'm, I'm looking at the time. I'm like, because I can talk for hours and so you can tell. I'm sorry about that. Uh, take a walk with music. Can you tell me why I'm putting there with music? Take a walk and try to, if you can, try to please put your headphones and hear music. Why? What do you think? Tell me on the chat. Why do you think I put that there? Just because. So it can look nice, my picture. Uh, thank you. Thank you for keeping track of my time. Why? What do I put? Try to take a walk with music. Music helps to change our thinking. Yes, Christina. Yes, exactly. When we're, what happened if we just take a walk with no music, nothing? We're just walking. 
we have all these thoughts on our head, right? Oh, I have to do this, or I have to do that, or even checking the cell phone, so if I if my boss sent me an email or do I send that? Or let me let me call um while I'm talking, let me call my mom or let me check my sister to follow up with this, with something that is giving you a stress. Don't do that, right? Like try to take that's either 10 minutes or 15 minutes just talk with yourself and some music because what happened we start singing the music right right now it's friday so we want like some cumbia maybe so we can dance and that's self care right right there uh so take some music right so you can hear and you can avoid hearing your thoughts okay why because it's good to have that it's good to don't hear so use those 10 minutes and 15 minutes of tranquility, okay? So it is very, it's very, very important to do that. So thank you, uh, Christina, you got it. So take a walk, put your music, don't call nobody that is gonna give you a stress because sometimes what do we do? Oh, I'm gonna take a walk, I'm gonna pay, pay this bill by phone, oh, I need to figure out why they charge me more about my car insurance, and let me look this, and here we go, more stress, right? No, take those 10 minutes, take those 15 minutes. So try that, try that, and we see, we need to try different things, so that way we can know what is what technique is gonna work for us, and then do that self-care. Next one. While we teach classes, if you were here, if you're a student, if you're around here, we have this amazing and beautiful campuses that are very big. The other day I walk, I'm located in Valle Verde, and I walk, and I walk two miles just going around the campus because I was keeping track of how, what was the distance, two miles and half an hour. No, it was a mile and a half in half an hour. So, they have a walking club, can't remember where they meet. Yeah, we need to take, oh, it's my lunch hour, I can eat in 30 minutes, then I'm gonna go and take a walk. So I can, don't work in your lunch time. Take a break, if it's your lunch, it's your lunch. It's time for you, okay? It's time for you, no time for nothing else. All the campuses has gyms. Surprise, right? You can go to the gym. If you're, a staff, if you're a staff member, you can go free. If you're a student, you can go free. And, and there is gyms in all the location. Ask about the activities. Sometimes they have activities there. Uh, even I know I went the other day and told me it's instructors and sometimes they give you like a, uh, when they have classes, they have those classes there and they give you those classes um, uh, free. So uh, if I don't have, so you don't have to spend more money and gym or something, you know, you can take advantage of what we have here. So that way you don't stress for being paying like other, other, um, other things. So, so what is your favorite, uh, activity? What is something? Yes, you see, so I'm glad you guys learned something. So, and I have here the, the locations and the phone numbers and the locations so I decided to grab it so because I know sometimes we didn't we don't know about some sources that are even over here locally so sometimes we don't really know so we want to do that so we really want to do that we want to know that and be informed we want to do that and we want to be informed about all that right why? Because we also want to share it. If we were with students, we want to share that with students. Hey, guess what? I know you have that is in stress. Oh, really? I, I want to go to the gym, but I don't have money. Hey, guess what? If you have a right between classes, you can go here, right? So it's it's amazing. Uh, what is your favorite activity? Uh, make time for it. Like I know uh, Ms. Karib mentioned, oh, I like to read. Well, I'm going to make a time to, to read, right? And sometimes... Sometimes we do have time, right? If, how many of you have social media? Tell me the truth. How many of you have social media? Ms. Carmen say, not her, okay. That's good because, uh, okay, because sometimes what, sometimes a lot of people, right? Even the, the youth also, 
young adults, even adults, let me tell you, we spend a lot of time on the internet, social media, uh, YouTube, watching funny videos and all that stuff, right? So if, we, if those 10 minutes that we spend looking into that internet and social media, we spend it to do something that we is going to fit our self care. Come on, you do have time, right? What else? Coffee. I know Miss Katty mentioned I go with the coffee with my neighbor, drink a coffee, have a good time. And try when you go in and drink coffee with your friends, with your with your significant other or anything like that, what is it that is good? Talk about what is it stressful. Talking about all these problems, no, because that is only gonna increase the anxiety, the stress levels, right? Talk about other stuff. Talk about other stuff that you enjoy, that put you in a good mood, that give you energy. Try to avoid talking. If it's your time for your self care, don't try to, oh no, yeah, I, right now I have to go and make dinner. Yeah, I know, and then these kids, I don't know what homework they have, and I need to go in this. Like, I mean, are you really doing self care right there? Mm, sounds to me like not really, right? Not really. So, also, if you're gonna do something for a self care, try to do it like a good quality of self care, right? It's like when sometimes we say like, oh yeah, I'm listening to you and we're on the phone. Oh, really? It's quality, right? We want good quality self-care. That's what we want. Painting. Paint. Time for myself. I'm hearing my music. I'm painting. I'm cooking. A lot of people are surprised, right? They really love and it's a very like a stressful relief to cook, to bake cookies, to bake a cake. I wish I have that skill, but no for cakes and cookies and all that stuff. But uh, a lot of people, some people that I know, they really enjoy cooking and they're be like, oh, it relax me and make me feel good. And I'm like, well, that's nice, you know? We need to find and identify what works for us. Oh, you see, like it relax, it works. On a break, what do I put that phone, right? Because we need a break from our phone. We need a break from our phone. Right? At least that you're something and expecting something very important, call or something. Yeah. But if it's already, for example, Friday, the weekend, disconnect from work. Don't check your works at uh, your email uh, from work. Don't open your laptop from work. And I told uh, and I told that the same to the students. You know, like take a break, take a break. Sometimes I see the students and they're just like, "It's because I just want to finish. I want to take all these classes." And I always tell them, "Remember, self care is very important too. How are you gonna take care of yourself?" I know everyone. Uh, like I know you have the capacity to pass all these five classes, but and you working for how are you gonna take care of yourself? Because if not, what happened? Stress levels are super high. Right, so the phone. Take a break. It's the weekend. Take a break. Put it on silence. If you're gonna watch a movie, put it on silence. Turn it off. Watch that movie. It's your self care time. Counseling department. Um, so if uh, anyone needs you know like sometimes i know we get uh received like because what because a lot of people or a lot of students that we serve they have you know like the stress levels very high uh anxiety uh stress that can trigger onto depression and and stuff like that. and why it's caused because a lot of different factors but right now also one thing to cope with it can be um self-care right techniques to kind of decrease all this, um, these consequences that uh, stress and the lack of self care can trigger. So I put, I know, in the consulting department, it's in every single campus, right? And we have different crisis intervention on our website. It's crisis intervention, mental health resources. For sometimes, you know, we're working with students and we notice, like, oh, you know what? Like, oh, no, I have this and this is going on in my life so it's hard for of course it's gonna affect what you academic performance right uh and what do you do for yourself no nothing so the stress is only go up and you're doing nothing to kind of like fight against that stressor 
So we have our page is a, a mental health source, a behavioral health source, crisis intervention source, and it's a page on PDF that has been 25 mental health well, wellness tips for that. And then online uh, health sources. So it's very important that if you see someone arrive to your office or even like another classmate or a co you know that they need some sources, it is very important to offer the help with, without judging, right? We're, we're not there to judge, we're there to try to give solutions. As I always say, it's like we're here to be part of the solution, not part of the problem. Counseling, there is different uh, counseling um, departments on the different campus. So here is uh, the, 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 the locations, the rooms, and the phone numbers in case it's needed. So it's very important to, if you see or somebody arrives to your office, if you say like, oh my God, I don't know what to do, the best thing to do is guide them, right? Guide them to what is it that, uh, where they can go, where they can ask for, for help, and, and, and all that. So that's, that's the best way, guiding the people that is asking for help. The next one, other sources, Center for Students with Disabilities. I know sometimes, you know, uh, a lot of people think like, oh, no, it's, it's for people that have a physical disability. But no, they, the uh, Center for Students with Disabilities, they also provide assistance for students uh, that they're struggling emotionally or mentally. Okay, so they also can get assistance there. Why? Because sometimes a lot of people they have uh, uh, students. I know I have met some students that they have a lot of anxiety and stuff. So they need to to make some accommodations for that anxiety, right? Uh, and we are here to help. Uh, that is why it's very important. Since we are here to help other people, that is very important. And I will uh, say that again to help ourselves first too. Okay. Uh, not for helping others, don't forget about yourself uh, because we need you so you can continue helping helping us. Uh, so Center for Students, uh, we do have, they have a contact also virtually or there is a offices. Uh, every single campus has an office, right? So every single student, you see a, a student, a lot of students, I have noticed like a lot of students, uh, a lot of students, they really don't, um, don't know don't know that uh, APCC has uh, sources for disability students with students with disability a lot of students they don't know and a lot of students sometimes they feel like uh, ashamed to share that oh I do have depression I do have anxiety um, uh, I do take medication and remember I told them we are not here to judge I'm here to try to help you and thank you thank you for for sharing uh, that information uh, with me. And now we can, uh, I can see how I can help you. So it is very important to use the sources that we have. Um, I know see a lot of anxiety and a lot of stress for students when they're strong only with one topic, like math. I'm really not a fan of math, but I always tell them to, and I forgot to add that, but it is a lot of help for tutoring. And I was giving the tutoring, um, uh, flyers to them look this is gonna help you to alleviate that stress right and finding the solution you can go there for tutoring uh, you can get there for tutoring in person or virtually so there is no excuse so you have to because what, what would they say oh miss I don't have the time right the famous I don't have the time to go oh guess what it's virtual tutoring too so there is no excuse right to do that so it's very, very important that we understand and we see why is the reason that it's important to take care of ourselves. And I'm going to pass it to Christina. Thank you, Ms. Claudia. I think that was a great pre presentation. There was a lot of helpful information on there as to what prevents us from taking care of ourselves and what we can, some of the options that we have as far as taking care of ourselves. Um, so now what we're gonna do is, my part of the presentation is I'm going to talk about grounding yourself. And as the slide shows, this is not a punishment. Most of us hear grounded or grounding, and we automatically go back to memories of our childhood perhaps, or even of our own children when we put them on timeout or ground them for, um, as a form of punishment but I promise you that's not what this is. 
So we need to take time to focus on you. And Ms. Claudia brought out very good points. All of you gave great comments. Thank you for participating. And so we need to remember that that time for ourselves is very important. And yes, we have very busy schedules. We have a lot of responsibilities, but I'm going to give you a technique that you can utilize anywhere at work, at home, in your car. And honestly, it can take a few minutes to half an hour, an hour. It's up to you. You can adapt it to your needs and your time. So, We've all heard stop and smell the roses, but actually how many of us do that? And with all the answers and replies of we're in the red, myself included, we're not stopping to smell the roses. So let me go back. I'm sorry, let me go to the last slide. So I'm giving everyone a visual here. Now, if we were doing this in person, what I would do is I would have manipulatives uh, for everyone to touch and feel and focus on during the session, but they're all items from nature. And that's what grounding is. Grounding is a reconnection with the earth, with our environment, our natural environment. We're all boxed into these concrete buildings. We've got just superficial man-made things around us all the time. And we tend to disconnect or lose our touch or our connection with the natural environment around us. So my favorite is just sitting and meditating on a picture like this of a favorite um, landscape, having some music in the background perhaps, having the lights dim down low, maybe a candle flickering, but it's just to help you refocus your thoughts and help you reconnect with, with the earth. So as you can see, I've included a landscape picture and it has the mountains in the background covered in the green lush uh, foliage of the, the natural vegetation that grows in the area. We've got some clouds, the sunlight, a nice blue sky. We've got a waterfall. We can actually see some of their bare rock near the waterfall. And this is just to remind us of the different elements that we lose um, that connection with. So here in my lab, I actually have several things from nature. Sometimes I pick these things up when I walk around campus or around my home. And some of them I just go to like the Dollar Tree or Walmart and buy them in bulk in the craft section. I've got river rocks, I've got beach glass, I've got these really cool giant salt crystals that Himalaya pink, um, Himalayan pink salt, they sell them at Walmart in the candle section. It's like a, a container of them and I just have those on hand. I have seashells, I even have pine cones and the pine cones have an interesting story behind them. But what I like to do is I like to just manipulate and feel these items in my hand. I like to focus on their texture, on their color. <laughs> right now I'm manipulating a smooth river rock. And so what I stop and think of is this rock used to be rough, much like the rough side of the cliff that we see in the picture. But over time, erosion, the water, the wind, the sand, has worn it down and smoothed it over. So you just want to think about those things. I mean, imagine the waves of an ocean washing over you or the ripples in a nice stream when you go fishing or camping. You want to think about these items that cleanse you, uh, cleanse your energy and just cleanse the stress out of you because that's what nature does. Nature is all about the different cycles that help replenish the earth. And that's what we need to do. We need to ground ourselves back to the earth so that we can replenish ourselves naturally, especially in, in very toxic environments. Again, we're isolated in these concrete boxes. We've got all of this man-made equipment around us emitting all sorts of different types of energy and frequencies. And we don't always realize it, but they do take a toll on us and they do add to our stress levels, even when we don't realize it. So my favorite manipulative to use is the beach glass. 
and the beach glass is because I love the ocean. Um, I have asthma and allergies, so that's the one place that I can always breathe easily. My lungs are clear, my sinuses are clear anytime I'm near a beach because of the salt air. But the beach glass, it's, I mean, we, we understand that glass is produced by, you know, intense pressure and heat um, with the silica and the sand. But on top of that, the glass is smoothed over by the ocean waves. And then <laughs> if you know anything about beach glass, it's very hard to find in, on some beaches. You can't just find it anywhere. But over time, the sand, the waves, um, people walking over it have just smoothed the edges over. And I like to focus on those edges because it reminds us that no matter how rough or sharp our edges become um, mentally, physically, spiritually, emotionally, there's things that we can focus on to smooth those hard or rough edges over so that we're not necessarily cutting ourselves or cutting anyone else when we interact. And I that's just my favorite manipulative to use. But the pine cone that I have on hand right now is actually a gift. And it might seem like nothing, but one of my coworkers picks them up and, and just brings them to me every once in a while. The pine cone is related to an inside joke that we have, but I keep it on hand when whenever I'm given a new one or I have some, some others at home. But it just reminds me that I'm not alone. Um, no matter how hard the work week can get, I remember that I've got support here, that I've made some really good connections. I've got a strong support system, not only in my personal life, but in my work and professional lives. And so it's just nice to manipulate and focus on the edges of the pine cone, um, how something so small can produce something so huge and beneficial to our lives as far as providing shade, providing homes for animals, providing the oxygen that we need to breathe. And in turn, we produce that carbon dioxide that the plants need. So again, we got to focus on these cycles that happen naturally in our, in our environment. <laughs> I like to focus on the seashells as well. Whenever you focus on a seashell, depending on what type of seashell you have in your hand, whether it's a spiral one or if it's one of the conch shells um, or a larger one, a smaller one, you think about the animals that live in them and how they survived being tossed around in the currents of the ocean, um, surviving the natural predators in their area and how their hard shells protected their soft inner um, cells. I mean, they move, they eat, they thrive, and yet they're small. They're, we can manipulate them in our hands for the most part. But yet these tiny, soft-bodied creatures build these tough shells. And we very often have those tough shells as well. But we still have to focus on the soft inner being that we all have. Um, because again, our everyday environments just make it hard to focus on ourselves sometimes. The Himalaya salt crystals, these are really cool because, and no, I haven't licked any of them to see if, how salty they are, but I like manipulating them in my hands because they're nice and cool. Um, they're textured, they're not sharp by any means. And it's just nice to think about something that is replenished it's it gives flavor to our food it's part of our chemical makeup um, inside our bodies it helps balance a lot of our hormones and chemicals and then on top of that i mean just to think that people go and mine the salt and how oceans fill different areas of the world and as evaporation and the water cycle go on these salt beds are left and we, we utilize this. I mean, when you stop and think about how valuable salt has been to many cultures at different time periods, it's just fascinating to stop and think about those things, how something that's naturally produced by the earth, um, something that's naturally found within our own bodies can be so valued and highly profitable in so many areas of the world but how it can bring so much pleasure when we eat by just adding that additional flavor to our food. So again, 
you, when you're walking outside, a lot of you mentioned that you walk at your different campuses um, or that you have coffee with a neighbor, that you like to hike. While you're doing all of this, adding the music to, to your enjoyment to help you relax, also stop and smell the roses or reconnect with mother nature so to speak stop and stare at a bug and see what it's doing on its journey across the ground um, you might not like bugs but it's actually very fascinating to see how they survive and how they adapt to their environments and their surroundings pick up a rock that you found is interesting you don't necessarily have to carry it with you but just stop and observe it for a while think about the immense pressure um, that produced the type of rock you're holding. Notice the texture, notice the color, notice how it feels in your hands. Is it really hard or is it crumbly? Um, is it, oops, sorry about the background. Is it, um, is it something that, that breaks off in, in smooth plates? Again, all of these things are, are created by their surrounding environment and that's much it's very similar to how we're created on a daily basis also. You know, our moods change, our stress levels change, our work environment changes, our personal lives change, but we need to learn how to adapt and how to take time to ourselves and for ourselves every single day, not just once in a while when we think we have the time, but on a daily basis. And again, manipulating something from nature, you can do it at your desk, you can do it in your car, you can do it while you're hiking or while you're drinking coffee with that cherished neighbor. Or even when you're with your spouse, having that spiritual time. Focus um, on what it is that you're praying about, what you're thinking about, what goals you have in your lives. Just those few minutes make a huge amount of difference. So that's it for today. Thank you so much for your time um, and your comments and your participation. I think Claudia and I really enjoyed sharing this with you. Yes, th thank you for having us um, in, uh, in sharing and having like participate on the chat. Christina and myself, we did uh, have a lot of participation. So thank you. I was telling Patricia that I have I have, uh, I will see, if, I don't know, it's, I don't know if my camera works, but I have a soccer um, little book with 200 ways to refresh, restore, and uh, like restart again, okay? So I have this, uh, and I know Patricia already did the random number, right, Patricia? So who yes, was the one? Uh, the random generator picked uh, Debbie uh, L. So, um, Debbie, if you could stay after the session just to give us your information, uh, we can make sure and give you your book, okay? Yeah, it's a very good book. It shows you very different. It's not like uh, it gives you 200 little ways to do, you know, like uh, take a morning walk and it gives you like uh, four or five sentences of how to do it. Practice a variety of stretches. Uh, let somebody brush your hair. Uh, make your own fruit uh, salad. It's like a lot of little tips. So I hope this book, uh, you enjoyed this. This Oh, Carmen said he needs those tips. Hopefully Debbie is still here, right? Is she here? Yeah, so enjoy this book. It's gonna be very good. So thank you everyone. Thank you Patricia for having us and invited us to do this presentation. Most important to win. <laughs> so I don't know if she's still here. If not, I don't know if you want to go like another. Um. Oh, you got a couple questions in the chat. Um, oh, okay. They want to know where they where they can find this book if they okay. wanted to pick it up. The book only, and I'm trying to turn on my camera, but I, I don't think is okay. I think it's working. It is oh, working. There it is. We see you. It's ah, It's because it wasn't working. <laughs> so I'm like, oh, I don't know what happened. Uh, so I don't know if you guys can see it. It's like a little, little, it's like very small book. You can put it like in your bag and your purse and your, uh, oh, I mean, Debbie left the session. I'm just, <laughs> uh, 
and it's like super little tips you see it's not like oh my god you have to read like a lot of no it's like every page has like one tip of how to do it or what to do so it's very nice i found it um on honestly i got this one on amazon i bought it on amazon and it's called the little book of soccer 200 ways to refresh and restore yourself super little Reconnect with your body, your mind, and your spirit. So it's very, 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 very nice book. So is she here or not? Or I think she left, so I don't know hey, how we're going to get her information. Oh, you want Hello? to like a Can stuff? you hear me? Yes. She, yeah, she had to step out. We're doing okay. something uh, online. But if you send it to her, you could send it to her to the Vive Verde Library. Oh, okay. Her name. Hey, we'll walk it over. First okay. ma'am. <laughs> yeah, she's here. She's doing something. <laughs> okay. <coughs> okay. Oh, yeah, well, thank so you. Awesome. <laughs> uh, thank you, Miss Galindo, for your wonderful presentation. Thank you, uh, Miss Christine, Christina Diaz, as well. You all did awesome. Uh, I think we all thoroughly enjoyed enjoyed our self-care session right before the weekend to get us some good ideas. Um, so before I let you go, I'm going to share for next week's presentation. Uh, let me share my screen. There we go. It's loading. Okay. So next week in the same link, we're going to be having the mental health committee come once again, and they're going to be doing overcoming obstacles, turning challenges, challenges into opportunities and so the session's going to be exploring different challenges and be, um, beliefs that can get in the way of student success so it'll also provide them information on how to overcome those challenges so uh please come back see us next week but until then maybe practice some self-care this weekend and thank you for coming